A speak-out is in motion and a community is in pain after a Bronx man was shot six times by the New York Police Department during a schizophrenic episode. Family and supporters held a speak-out just outside the gates of the 52nd Precinct to demand justice and accountability be given to 42-year-old Raul de la Cruz, who was shot by an NYPD officer six times after responding to a 311 call. Social activist group Dare to Struggle alongside family and friends of De La Cruz are voicing their demands in response to the situation. The first demand is to release the names of the officers who shot Raul, release the body cam footage, and the 311 call that his father was on for around 30 minutes. Uh, the second one is to punish those officers in question. And the third is to stop the criminalization of mental health in general. CBS News confirms the timeline of events involved the NYPD arriving at the location mentioned in the 311 call, which was rerouted to the 52nd Precinct. De La Cruz allegedly wielded a knife as he approached responding officers before he was critically shot six times. He was rushed to the hospital, where he currently remains in stable condition. Police say De La Cruz is charged with attempted aggravated assault on an officer and criminal possession of a weapon. Meanwhile, the investigation of NYPD conduct is ongoing by the Force Investigation Division, but the community is curbing optimism. The overall situation is that after decades and decades of promises of reforms and, and promises of things changing uh, around uh, the issues of the criminalization of mental health, police brutality, we're met with nothing for the, for the general masses of people who are up against the criminalization of mental health, who are up against police brutality. Dare to Struggle and supporters of De La Cruz alike say protests will remain consistent until demands are met and justice is properly served. Reporting from BronxNet, I'm Chris Cumella.